Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The Sukhoi Superjet, SJ-100, and the Airbus A220 are two prominent aircraft models. Developed for regional and short-haul commercial flights, both airplanes serve comparable market niches, although they are manufactured by different companies and have distinct features. In this comprehensive comparison, we'll explore two popular aircraft models. With distinctive characteristics and overview of their unique features and capabilities. The Yakovlev built SJ100 Superjet made history by successfully completing its first flight on August 29, 2023. The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade acknowledged this significant development adding that the test flight verified the plane's overall stability, steady functioning, and stable handling. The Airbus A220, formerly known as the Bombardier C-Series, made its first flight on September 16, 2013. This historic event marked the beginning of a new era in the regional aircraft market. The A220 is renowned for its innovative design, fuel efficiency, and passenger comfort. And it has since gained popularity among airlines worldwide. The Suikoi Superjet, SJ100 and the Airbus A220 are two distinct aircraft models, with notable differences in various aspects of their specifications. The SJ100 has a length of approximately 29 meters and a wingspan of around 27 meters. On the other hand, the Airbus A220 boasts an impressive length of approximately 35 meters and a wingspan of about 36 meters. The SJ100 has a smaller wing area of 904 square feet, whereas A220 has a larger wingspan, provides it with a greater wing area of 1,209 square feet. In terms of height, SJ100 has height of 10.28 meters, 33 feet 9 inches, while Airbus A220 has height 11.50 meters, 37 feet 9 inches. Both aircraft are equipped with two engines, each delivering substantial thrust. The SJ-100's engines deliver slightly less thrust, with 79 kN, 17,800 pounds of force, per engine. Whereas the A220 engines provide 84 kN, 18,900 pounds of force, of thrust per engine. When considering the SJ100, it has a lower maximum takeoff weight, is approximately 49,450 kilograms, 109,000 pounds. While Airbus A220 has higher maximum takeoff weight, is approximately 60,781 kilograms, 134,000 pounds. Speaking about range, the SJ100 offers a range of 1,894 nautical miles, which is notably shorter than the Airbus A220 it has impressive range of 3,400 nautical miles. Despite this difference in range, both aircraft share the same cruise speed of Mach 0.78, indicating similar cruising capabilities. When it comes to passenger capacity, the SJ100 is configured to accommodate 108 passengers in its standard layout, offering a relatively higher seating capacity. Compared to the Airbus A220, it has 98 passengers. Russia has recently initiated a branding campaign for the SJ100 short-haul aircraft, 
which has been developed by Yakovlev, a notable Russian aerospace company. The primary focus of this branding effort is to highlight and emphasize the aircraft's use of 100% Russian domestic components. Recent sources claim that Airbus is taking real steps to improve the plane's marketability against the 737 MAX. Airbus is preparing to launch the A220-500, which will be the extended range in the similar segment aircraft. According to Airbus, it could face competition from the 737 MAX 8 and Embraer E2. After being barred from Western nations, Russia intends to debut its smaller aircraft, the SJ-100, in a significant way on the global market. The SJ-100 will face off against the Boeing 737, Embraer E-195, and Airbus A220. For countries like Indonesia, China, India, Africa, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iran, and those that are allies of Russia, the SJ-100 is a potential aircraft for operation. The plan would entail two fronts, confirming the usage of the CFM Leap 1 engine and increasing the capacity of the A220 with the A220-300 variant. Airbus is betting on the smallest narrowbody aircraft market. That will be competing directly with the Embraer E2 and Boeing 737 MAX 8 segments aircraft. Further, it is improving the aircraft cabin seats. From an economic standpoint, Russia's focus on using domestic components aligns with the global trend towards supply chain resilience and reduced reliance on foreign suppliers. The SJ-100's incorporation of Russian-made components not only assures international buyers of its quality and performance, but also presents an opportunity for economic development in their own countries. This can lead to the creation of jobs, the growth of local industries, and the transfer of technology and expertise. The Pratt & Whitney PW1500G engine, which has experienced issues with availability, is the only one used by the A220 at the moment. Only the LEAP-1B, which is thought to be slightly less efficient, but has reported fewer issues, for its operators, is used to fly the Boeing jet. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.